Burke, we've lost contact with the colony on LV-426. Take Borman and his team to investigate. We don't want anyone to learn that the company has deliberately infected colonists in order to smuggle alien specimens past ICC quarantine. Yes, sir. It's imperative that you get Ripley to trust you. She's familiar with the Xenomorph, and we may need her help to bring one out alive. Understood. All right, understand this. The Bioweapons Division had orders to eliminate anyone who attempts to interfere. Obviously, they won't be aware of your team's mission. Well, welcome guys, and welcome to the next episode from The Vault. Today we have Alien Trilogy. Released for the PlayStation 1 in 1996, developed by Probe Entertainment, and published by Acclaim. This was a first-person shooter, shooter roughly based on the first three Alien movies. This was the first game developed by Probe after being acquired by Acclaim, which also debuted motion capture technology. Enemies include facehuggers, chest bursters, dog aliens, adult aliens, and even alien queens. There are 30 levels total, and you can arm yourself with various weapons, including the Pulse Rifle, which was debuted in Ali the Alien movies. Apparently, the DOS version also had Deathmatch Network multiplayer, but I wouldn't know anything about that. So, in the role of Lieutenant Ellen Ripley, the player experiences a story loosely derived from the first three films of the fr Aliens franchise. Mirroring, mirroring Aliens, Ripley, who is now a Marine, travels to LV-426 to restore contact with the colony there. However, soon after arriving, the other Marines are wiped out. Ripley, Ripley must then travel for the infested colony, colony and prison facility, and finally, the crashed alien ship itself to destroy the aliens and escape. Acid Rain, Raging Terror, and Xenomania. I don't want camera sway on. Okay, let's start. Mission Brief. You are advised to clear the entrance for the Marine Drop Crew by removing crate and barrel barricades and dispatching any xenomorphs you may encounter. Note that due to the protective design of the barrels for transportation, your 9mm will be ineffective in their removal. Search out alternative means. Okay. Okay, so X is fire. Circle is activate. Right, so I'm already getting movement on my radar, which isn't good. See, see, it's it. Oh, right. Can't stand on him. Acid blood. That's a thing. Alright, so I cannot destroy these crates with my pistol, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to go around the face hugger so we don't touch its acid blood. But, uh, we definitely don't want to be implanted with uh, a xenomorph egg in our chest. Go away. Okay, so yeah, can't destroy those. Powered up. Door activated. Oh, shoot!
Gotcha. Stupid face hugger. Alright, so that derm patch I picked up, I'm pretty sure was to restore my HP. Door powered up. Now I've got an auto mapper. That's cool. Hello there, shotgun. Aw, oh, yeah. Now we can break open these crates. What were you doing in there, you little face hugger? on blood. So we can blow up those barrels now. Which we will do in a moment. First let's have a little look around. Ah, get off! Oh, Xenomorph! So, um, it's kind of similar to Doom, where even if an enemy is, like, just below your, um, sights, you don't really need to aim. Because the, the, the weapon will, like, automatically aim it for you. So, we got some more shells and some more 9mm. Okay, not not ideal for sure. Took a lot of damage there. Did you see how how erratically they move too? Oh, got some more shotgun shells. Got a 
battery. God, you back up really slow in this. It's not an effective means of uh, backpedaling from an enemy. Even strafing is pretty slow. Great. I couldn't even see it until it was too late. Any other goodies around here? I have a pretty hefty chunk of ammo now. Nice. Whoa. Buzz off. The thing you gotta remember about this radar is that it's only useful uh, if the enemy is moving. It can't detect it if it's absolutely still. What a convoluted password that is. You must locate the main junction room and activate all three control panels. This will allow further penetration into the colony. Pick up any seismic survey charges as they are essential for the removal of temporary walls. Okay. Okay, not good. We got xenomorphs right off the bat. Let's not blow that up just yet. Goodbye. these assholes on the side first, that way I don't get surprised by uh, by them later. But there is an enemy in there.
Alright, slowly but surely I'm restoring my HP. And it looks like my uh, pistol ammo is topped off at the moment. Alright, so I couldn't have opened that door anyway. That goes further down. actually have to go down first. That's what it's looking like. Oops. I can't see shit, Captain. Gotcha! Xenomorph scum. Man, Alien 1 and Alien 2 are such cool movies. It's a shame the- Oh! Hi. It's a shame they don't really have any other good movies. I'm gonna turn the power back on. We've got some charges. Say, please just die already. That's cool. Found a little armory room there. Oh, I still can't open that door yet.
At least touching the the alien blood doesn't do that much damage, but it's still an annoyance. Ow. Yeah, I have seen, like, Alien 3, I've seen Resurrection, uh, I've only seen, like, part of Prometheus, and I've never saw, like, I never saw Alien Covenant, but, uh, I don't think I heard those movies were very good. I heard Prometheus was okay, but Alien Covenant was just kinda, eh. I wonder if I open that other door. Steam's still there, so we gotta go this way. But at least I got most of my HP back now. Oh! Hello, just waiting for me, huh? Uh, I probably could have used my charges to blow up that one wall, like in the back left corner. I was thinking about that, but I didn't really want to waste a charge if I was wrong. You may rearm your arsenal here, but we can only ha we can only hover for 60 seconds as the area is about to self-destruct. Ensure that you arm up before we pull you out. Uh, okay. The recapture of the colony is progressing well. However, as we have feared, our security people have been infected and must be eliminated. Power up all of the lights, destroy anything that lives, and pull out so that we may remove any carcasses and secure the area for rehabitation. Why on earth would you want to try to rehabit habitat the rehabit repopulate this place? This seems like a terrible idea. Okay, that's a little different. Those are human. Let's have a quick look around real quick. Okay, at least they don't... 
if they do actually hit you, they don't hurt too bad. Especially compared to the Xenomorph. Anyway, I think this will be a good, pretty good showcase for the game. Honestly, it's pretty cool. If you get, like games like Doom or Quake, this is probably the game for you. It's pretty neat.